In this lesson, I want to talk about major triads. Just like we started off with major intervals, we're going to start off with major triads because from there, it's a lot easier to find the other qualities of triads. Um, a major triad, like the major intervals, um, a major triad is based on the major scale. Okay, so again, we're going to start with the C major scale, no sharps, no flats, so it's the easiest place to start. To build a major triad, you look at the root, the third, and the fifth. The root is simply the first note of a scale. So to build a triad, we're looking at the root, third, and fifth. And this creates the major chord. And a major triad sounds probably very familiar, uh, because this is uh, one of the most uh, common ways to play chords and triads. Um, as with intervals, you want to be very careful with the accidentals. Um, because, for instance, if we wanted to build a D major triad, okay, let's look at the D major scale. You remember from the work we did with major scales that the D major scale has F sharp and C sharp. So we still want the root third and fifth, but it has to be D, F sharp, and A. And that's what creates a major triad. And it would sound like this. Now, if I just played F natural, then you can notice right away that it doesn't sound like that familiar major triad. Um, again, because it's the letter F, it is still a triad, but it's not a major triad. So you always want to be very careful of the accidentals. Um, in some scales you'll find flats. For example, if we looked at the key, this is one of the harder keys, uh, D flat major. Then uh, you know that uh, from the work we did with scales, you start with B flat, uh, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. And that's our D flat major scale. Um, <clears throat> again, with this one, you want to be careful of the accidentals. We will look at our root, third, and fifth. In this case, it would be D flat, F, and A flat. And again, that's how we build specifically the major triad. Do some practice with this. Um, we're going to talk about one more quality. But once you get really familiar with the major triads, then it's a lot easier to find all the other qualities of triads.